This is Capital View with your host, Jesse Tenor. It's been 62 years since Elizabeth Eckford, a member of the Little Rock Nine, was famously blocked by the National Guard from getting into Central High School. Late this week, the Guard invited Eckford to the nation's capital to share her story. Bree Jackson has more from Washington, D.C. in a Capital View Web Extra. It was a historic day that caught national attention and is forever etched in the mind of Little Rock Nine member Elizabeth Eckford. An organized group of students led by adults passed out hate literature and uh, co coordinated their attacks on us. Eckford was one of the Little Rock Nine, nine black students who integrated Little Rock's Central High School in 1957. Their efforts were met with resistance from white students and the governor called in the Arkansas National Guard, but it was not to protect Eckford. I didn't realize that the soldiers were there to keep me out and the, and the rest of the nine out until I was turned away the third time. And decades later, Eckford wrote this book, The Worst First Day. Her story inspired military officials to invite her to Washington, D.C. to share her experiences with current National Guard members. Retired Army Lieutenant Colonel Eridice Stanley helped to coordinate the visit. It was an opportunity to share the experiences that Elizabeth had with the Little Rock Nine. Eckford says the guardsmen had their orders, but some were kind to her. Even though they turned me away, an officer had sent an armed soldier to see that no physical harm came to me. It's been more than 60 years since Eckford's courageous efforts. Let people know that they can make a difference. They can be the difference. And Eckford tells me she hopes sharing her story now helps younger generations stand up against discrimination. And be sure to catch Capital View on the air Sunday mornings at 8.30 on KARK right before Meet the Press.